This is a short video to explain how to get to the Designing a Dinner Project, Assignment 1A. Several people have sent emails about having issues with getting to the first 1A assignment, so this should show you how to go about doing that. What you need to do is click on the content link, and that will take you to the content page. And in the content page, you need to make sure you scroll down to your group, again on my page because I have access to all of the groups you see all of them here but on yours you should really only see one group the group that you are assigned to now a, a point of clarification you see the designing a dinner project information folder that is only information for the project that is not the folder you need to go to to get to the assignments part of the group what you need to do is say I am assigned to the WVU Mountaineer football group so I click on the WVU Mountaineer football group folder to get to assignment 1A now in here you have you should be seeing two things you should be seeing the designing a dinner project packet which is just a link to a PDF which is the packet that I handed out in class the first day the next thing that you should be seeing is the assignment one this assignment one is for idea formation and brainstorming click on that link and what that will do is open up what is referred to as a module this is the Mountaineer football assignment one module there should be two links on the left hand side of the screen if you scroll over you'll see that it says 1A and 1B you need to have 1A highlighted and then all you on the right hand side what you see are the instructions to complete 1A what you need to do is there should be a link that says click to launch and what that does is that launches the assessment this is a little bit different than the assignment we did the other day because eCampus works differently when we're doing the peer assessment remember you are submitting this part as an individual and then one of your group members will assess this and we'll go over that in a later video so what you need to do is answer both questions question one and question two now when you get to the assessment it will show you the instructions first on what to do the assessment name is assignment one the instructions and then this is a copy of a PDF which is just the description of 1a if you want the instructions for that you can open it up it shows you how it is graded and then what you need to do to answer both questions or do both parts of the assignment is click on question one and then that gives you the question provide two different meanings or interpretations of the phrase you can type in your response here's my response to this part of the question and then you hit OK after completing question one you go to question two and it's the same process and you hit OK and that will submit both questions for your submission process again this is different than the way we did it for P1 because that is set up like a traditional assignment this is set up what's called as an assessment so it works slightly differently again you need to click on question one and answer question one and then you need to click on question two and answer question two if you have any questions and still can't get this to work feel free to email either myself again I am Dr. Billy Plyler or you can email Mr. Craig Nelson if you have any questions let us know thank you